Welcome to Ohio State Reformatory. I'm Mike Ricksecker, Society of the Haunted, of course, here on Haunted Road Media Channel. Tagging along tonight with Tri C Ghost Hunters for a fantastic paranormal investigation. Hello. You probably don't remember me. When you back here? Okay, so you probably don't remember me. But I came through here with my significant other girlfriend, fiance, soon to be wife, Shauna. And we were walking right through this area right here. We heard a a woman. Walking in, they almost have to fight to breathe. Well, like I said, it used to be a hospital. Walking in, they almost have to fight to breathe. Okay, so I'll just come back and try to figure out who it was that we may have been talking to. So again, my name is Mike. What's your name? It would be a real pleasure to meet you. Find out a little bit more about you, about your time here. Damn. That was a thump. You can talk to me. I know you get visitors all day long. I, I get it. It's just me right now. It's pretty cold tonight, don't you think? Pretty chilly. You're wondering, probably wondering what in the world I'm doing here, standing around freezing my butt off. Back there. Of like paint peeling. Am I here? You from around here? Are you from Mansfield? That's a movement. Classic blowing in the wind. Question is, which one was it? Okay, right now I'm inside one of the cells. I believe this is the same cell that Shauna and I had ventured into last year, where passing by, Shauna felt an energy from here. We came in and we did feel some energy here for a little while. It's this one. It's this one? Um, a lot of energy right here. Stand right here. It's bad.
And you want to tell us or let us know? Turn the back of my neck a little bit. It's right here. So, I'm going to, you know, try to communicate a little bit here and see who we might be able to, uh, who we might be able to speak with. My name is Mike. You may not remember me. It was just one time a year ago. So Sean and I were passing by and we thought we felt you in here. But we can't see you. It's one of those interesting aspects of all of this, however it works. So I'm just wondering if you're still here. My name is Mike. I'm just passing through, just visiting. Just trying to learn a little bit more about the prison, about the history of this place, about who was here. A lot about the people. And you're one of those people. You, know, you get a lot of visitors in here all the time. How many stop by into your cell here to talk to you? Do they just usually walk by? We stopped in. I made these really small. I mean, cramped. I mean, that's basically if my body fits in here. You know, and I'm just an average guy. And that's all they had. There's a little sink over here. And that's, that's it. I guess there was probably a toilet in here at one point, right? So, you know, anything you might want to tell me, I only have a little bit of time. It seemed like you wanted to reach out to us the last time that we were walking by. Maybe just say hi. Or just to let people know that you were here. And so, I'm here. And if there's something that you want to tell me, please go ahead and do so. There's anything you want to let me know about you, about your family, if there's a message you want me to pass on, anything. I'm not here for shits and giggles. I'm not here to goof off, spook myself or whatever. I'm genuinely, genuinely interested in who you are. You know, just tell me about you. Doesn't have to be anything about this place. What about where you grew up? Alright, this is odd. But I have to check out the fire control center. Twice right here, walking through. Two to three times I've been here. So I'd really like to know who's here. So we're at the end of the east cell block. So who hangs out here at the fire control center? That was kind of weird. Heard a hiss. So this here is the door last year that um, Shauna really felt a buzzing around. Okay, so Shauna's getting a headache by the door. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know why, but um, I was walking around and um, I originally was just drawn to it just because of the door. Right, because they had it sealed off. Yeah. And then as soon as I got up to it, I got this blinding headache on my left eye my left side of my head 
And so I walked away from it and backed up and lost it. But whenever I walked back up to it again, um, I got it back. So when I'm standing right here, I don't feel anything. But as soon as I get up to it, then I can feel it. I have no idea why. I've never been here. How do I know? I have no right. Idea. <laughs> what well, makes you wonder, you know, if that was a bathroom because you can see the sink and maybe there's something else there. Makes you wonder though if somebody didn't have an accident, maybe there's a murder in there where somebody's head was bashed. I don't know. But I haven't really felt anything this whole time until this. Okay. But they do have it blocked off. feeling a heaviness up here right now. So there's definitely something up right here. Hello? I'm Mike. I've been here a few times now. Uh, a year ago, I was here with Shauna. You probably don't remember at all. I'll just come back to say hello. See if I can find out a little bit more about you. Since my first time here, they've padlocked the door. It really just looks like a bathroom in there. cobwebby on the face a little bit. There's definitely something up in here. I have felt it before. Sean really felt it that one time that we were here. Another creepy window lady. Right? <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling creepy window lady today? My name is Mike and I'm sorry I didn't catch your guys' names. Brenda? Elizabeth? Huh? And then Elizabeth here as well. Who's here with us? Yeah, it's a little warmer in this area. Space a little bit. How are you tonight? What is it you're picking up? Wide shoulders. I'm seeing a lot of people in white today, and I don't know why. No hair. Huge hands. Oh my god, big hands and feet. He's, the top of his head literally reaches, you see in the opening, the end of the curve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the way up there. Like, he's a big guy. Big guy. Huge. 
just standing there. Just standing there. Stand there? Do you have a name? We mean you no harm. Sounds like you're bigger than us anyway. He's scared of something. Can't see him. They can't see they can't see him if he's like that. What are you afraid of? It's the thing. The thing from over there. Really? It can make its way over here. It's not here now, but right. it's terrified him enough. Wow. What what thing are you talking about? There is on the on the other side. There's on this, it's on this floor, right? Yes, yes. Um, the very back room, there's a closet in the corner. And there's something that used to reside in there on a regular basis. But now, yeah, there's something else now over there that we just found out that's really pushed everything out. So this thing that was now was in there is now going through the entire prison and likes to toy, likes to play, well, and not in a good way. Okay. It's made it over here. He used to walk freely through, but now he's like, it can't see me. It can't see me. Um, mentally, it terrified him. And now he's just like, no. No. It's horrible. It's awful. Like, he's so large. He's larger than life. And something just put on my strap for my Yeah, purse. I just heard something come through the doorway. Something pulled on my purse. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. Obviously, quite sensitive. This entire area here, I do feel a lot of energy. And I don't ever claim to be sensitive. What about that back room? It's always something. Both times I've entered that room tonight, I've felt the energy in that room. She was doing stuff in both rooms. She never even entered that room because the energy coming from it. Hello. My name is Mike. I tried earlier to introduce myself, but <laughs> we had a couple of visitors. I'd like to learn more about you. I've been here before a few times to visit. Significant other Shauna was with me here last time and she knows you're here too. I just want to learn more about you. Who you are. Do you have a name? Is it Elizabeth? hear me or do you actually see me sitting in the chair here? If I stand up, do you see me stand up?
Why are you hanging out in that room? Who are you? I love you. I'm just sorry. You live here? You work here? You see this as a brand new building? Or do you see it old and disheveled like I do? I'm a writer and I tell people stories. I can tell your story. Specifically. Not just the famous people and the fancy names they put in the history books. I talk about everybody. Oh yes, the room with just one chair. Sometimes there's more than one in here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do anything in here. So this is the room with no windows. Single chair on the floor. I'm not going to do anything here. I've never felt anything here. Personally, I think people just try to creep themselves out in here. It's a thing. It's actually quite warm in here. Yes, that crazy wall. Which blocks off the other side of the stairs. I'm down on the second floor, Warden's Quarters, in which I thought I heard a shuffle, like a, almost like a footstep, and then I thought I heard a cough in here. Hello?
Okay, it's a bathroom. Now they are all over the world. Hello, my name is Mike, kind of something I've been saying a lot tonight, so I need to introduce myself to all of you, again, because I've been here before. I just want to learn more about you. And who's hanging out here? Hanging out is a term we use. Who lives here? Very quiet tonight. Let's go old school, just sitting here. After a lengthy EVP session at the hallway table, in which I revealed my family connections to Mansfield and got no response, I was shushed on my way out. Come on. to the west cell block. It was one of these that I just randomly walked into one of the times that I was here. And it just had somebody in there. And I backed out. I don't know which one it was. Not this one, but I remember it was one of them I walked in, it was like complete freaking buzz. <laughs> you really gotta watch where you're walking. <laughs> I keep looking up. Oh, I know. It's all right. Oh my god, it's so warm. <sighs> yeah. Ah. Well, it's a beautiful day outside. It's like a refrigerator in here. Uh, 
how they move stuff around a little bit. So this is the Catholic Chapel. Uh, I came in here because I didn't think anybody would be in here. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people went down to solitary. I wanted to go down there, but with a lot of people in there, um, I didn't want that. I wanted to, the quiet, be on my own a little bit. So this will probably be the last place I hit tonight. It's getting late, and I have an hour and a half drive ahead of me. So if at all there's anybody in here, you don't know me. I've been in here once before. So, I doubt you would remember that. Well, it was almost about a year ago. But my name is Mike. And I'm just here to learn more about the building, about the people that lived here, that worked here. I'm a writer, a researcher. A historian of sorts. Anything you could tell me would be absolutely fantastic. I'm back here again, and so I'm thinking that, you know, I could stop by and visit from time to time when I'm in town. What do you think? Really kind of crazy here, so in the Catholic chapel. In the back of it, this little half wall structure with toilets in the sink. Just a half wall. And then you've got chairs, you've got pews over here. And there's Jesus. Now this, I mean, if you're sitting right here, you've got direct line to Jesus right there. That, it really is holy shit. Perhaps difficult to discern with the camera off, there's a footstep to my left and I immediately turn in that direction. Hello? Yeah, that's a pretty poor joke. Are you walking in here or over here? Hello? Now, just a few minutes ago, I was introducing myself. My name is Mike. If there's somebody here with me, just let me know. Just like to meet you, learn a little bit more about you. That's all. I'm trying to tell you what I was doing. So basically, there's this uh, sink over here. Right? I turned off the video camera to take a picture of that. And where I just made the, you know, holy shit joke back then. Um, heard footsteps back in that area or the area next to it. Just real briefly. I'm gone now. So. Don't know if it was anything residual, I have no idea. Or, like I said, if it was anything at all. Nothing now. Well, that's going to do it for this evening here at Ohio State Reformatory. Great investigation. Really want to thank Tri-C Ghost Hunters for having me out. Looking forward to going over the footage. I know there was definitely some activity here tonight and um, looking forward to coming back. 
So if you liked the video, please go ahead, leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought about it. Maybe you picked up some activity. Maybe you heard something or saw something, what have you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Click the little notification, the little bell notification there. Until next time. Whenever I walked in the doorway, um, I thought I was going to have to turn around and walk out just to be able to draw breath.